Hello everyone, my name is Julia and I'm now here in Seoul on my way to meet Chris, who I'm going to introduce to you today. So, let's go! My name is Chris and I'm Bulgarian and I've been living in Korea the last six years. I came to Korea 2016 in September and the reason to be here was a government-sponsored program called k Startup Grand Challenge. What made me stay here? I mean, everything. Everything was so different, like uh, I couldn't eat spicy food, uh, but the culture and like people and buildings, everything was so different from what I'm used to in Europe. Pros and cons. Pros, there's so much to do in Seoul. This city is so big and so exciting. Like in terms of food, in terms of like nightlife, in terms of cultural events, in ter terms of sightseeing, you can go a hundred kilometers out of the city with a metro, like just for two dollars. So it's it's amazing. If we need to talk about the cons, I think making friends and being an expert is always hard thing. It's like you, you make connection and people move on, they leave the country. And also like making deep friendship with the locals, with Korean people, it's a little bit challenging. It might be the culture, it might be the language barrier, but it's relatively more difficult to make like uh, good friends with Korean people than I'm used to. So my account on Instagram is ChrisBG. BG comes from Bulgaria and Chris is my first name. And I also post on a, a little bit bigger account, Seoul.SouthKorea, and we call it like the Seoul Guide, even though there's like way more information about South Korea in general, not just Seoul. I prefer to post like beautiful places, like historical places, uh, flower fields, like nice scenery. A lot of my followers actually liked me to post K-pop, K-drama locations, food, but I try to stay faithful to what I like because I mean I always like to con to connect with my followers but I'm not like a social media on demand this is my channel and I uh, post after I explore I got interested in social media because I was actually uh, really impressed by uh, the beauty of uh, Korea and the, the nature and uh, you know different places that we're attending and it all started at Nami Island, where we were staying um, there with a couple of friends. And we spent a good time amount at Nami Island. We were supposed to go to a pension to spend the night, but it it become dark, it become late. Uh, public transport is not perfect outside of Seoul. And we're trying to figure out how to get there. Then there's just one guy who spoke uh, Korean. He searched, found a phone number, called somebody and said, it's all arranged. And 20 minutes later, there's a small bus coming to pick us up. And we're like, what did you do? How? You know, it was just 20 minutes. We're in the middle of nowhere. So basically, he called like a grocery shop, like a convenience shop that's close to the pension. And obviously, he said, like, we're going to come buy barbecue stuff. We're going to cook. We're going to buy all, you know, meat, vegetables from you. Can you pick us up? Bring us to your store and then drop us at our pension. And they said, yeah, sure. If you're going to buy from our store, let's do it. They came with a small bus, pick us up. We went and bought like good amount of products like meat and, and they dropped us at the pension. And then I was like, wow, this is something that I've never experienced before. And this kind of got me interested into the country to learn more about, you know, the habits, the culture, the history of it. And I said, OK, I'm going to use my free time during the weekends besides like my startup work and my startup engagements to explore Korea and this is how it started. I mean, it's an interesting combination of uh, working from home, working from my office and exploring Korea. What works well with my startup uh, you know, job is that uh, the rest of my team is in Bulgaria. So they're like six hours behind. So sometimes I'm going to have like a free morning so I'm going to wake up, I'm going to have coffee at my place and then go to explore a little bit, uh, enjoy the good time, like take some photos, take some videos. And by three o'clock, I try to be on my uh, computer and people always say, hey, Chris, what's your job? We, you travel too much, you do too much, but they don't see my evenings. 
they just see my exploration during the day. Yeah, my, my company, we develop a technology that's based on thermal AI. So this is one of our latest products. It's very challenging and uh, very exciting at the same time because we're tapping on kind of like a medical device and it's so much to learn and so much to explore. It's like a totally different uh, ecosystem. <laughs> Startup life is not for everybody, but uh, if you feel adventurous, I highly recommend for people to just uh, try stuff out. Yeah, totally. Oh, bucket list is full of things to do and places to visit. Uh, part of my idea to live in Asia was to visit the countries around, but the last two years because of the pandemic, that was not possible. So, you know, now that countries are opening up, uh, I think I'm going to try to do as much as possible. Actually, I have a really uh, exciting trip uh, coming up this week. Like I'm going to Mongolia for 10 days. I'm traveling with a friend. We're going to stay in the capital area and then explore like a, we're going to take a flight four hours in the Altai mountain and sleep in the yurt and uh, ride ho horses and it's, yeah, it's going to be super exciting. Traveling tips for students, uh, download the Anorja for free hotel accommodation. It's great. Uh, you can uh, book really cheap, uh, really good hotels. Don't uh, be afraid to use public transport. You can go everywhere, almost everywhere with public transport. KTX is a little bit expensive, but they're like the slow train, there are buses that you can utilize. Yeah, just don't waste your time in Honda. Just go during the weekends and uh, depending on the season, they're like really beautiful places that you should visit. Do a temple stay, you know, just explore outside of Seoul. Go by the beach, learn to how to surf. I don't know, just like don't stay in Seoul. What did living abroad and traveling abroad taught me? Being adventurous, it's a, a good part. Uh, we don't have enough time to see, do and visit all the places that we want to. And that every time the sun is shining, I should like, uh, you know, do something. I just grab my laptop and uh, I just go somewhere and work from, uh, from outside. Because this is so possible here in Korea, like, you go up on the highest mountain and there's 5G and internet so fast. So why should I stay home? Why should I stay in like an office? Why should I stay in a coffee shop if I can do my job or study from everywhere? <laughs>